Episode one thirty four of the Real Individuals Podcast. Let's What's the go. play, man? That's as real as it get. I'm actually out the shower. I'm gonna say a prayer. No, no, I'll just decide. I'm not going to church, but I'm gonna say a prayer, man. Say a prayer for my granny. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna go on a hike. I'm going to hike with a friend. Mm -hmm. Kind of clear my head. Get in touch with nature. You know what I mean? Yeah. What it is though, man. Maintaining, man. I'm checking out this complex list, man. It look like Joe Budden's the number one media personality, bro, in hip hop. That's dope, though. For the show that you left, to shout you out as number one. That's like, yeah. what's up? Ultimate sign That's of respect. Up. So I think uh, academics nah. number two. They had a couple. It's like twenty five uh, different people. So, mm -hmm. Solid list. He found his way, but I yeah. know. There's some hate out there about that. It's been reported. Some underlying hate, some low key hate, maybe from some old employees, or I don't know. Oh, that's for that's always gonna be some smoke with, uh, with how that ended. They always gonna throw yeah. their shots in there. So yeah, man. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That type don't end for a while. Like hell no. But congrats it's, to yeah, him and everybody on that list, though, man. Hey, hey but did Rory and Mom make your list? <laughs> nah, they ain't make the list. They ain't make uh, it. Maybe next. Nah, they time. trying them, man. Cause I, 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 I don't watch it like often no more. But I watch it from time to time still. I used to watch it heavy because I wanted to see like how they felt about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was, I was watching them heavy when it first happened. I, I still watch it from time to time. They, they cool. My own cool. Rory funny. Like they cool. I honestly, only got so much time in a week or whatever. Yeah, uh, you only got so much time. I don't, I don't watch nobody's episodes in entirety. It just just begin with, like mm -hmm. I end up watching like an hour or one throughout the week, or you know what I mean, like that. Yeah, just ain't enough time. Then by the time you get the next one out, and so you don't want to be like on old news no more. I watched about thirty minutes of the the latest one. Yeah, I'll check it out, but mainly like what draws me in is if they throw out clips, any podcast. I might not watch the two or three. Yeah, hours. yeah. that's why. Powerful clips are powerful. Yeah. Clips draw the audience in. You got to draw your audience in. Sometimes, even if there's not a short attention span, a lot of times there are short attention spans. But even in times they're not, you got to catch the audience. That's why advertisement happen a certain way. When you see those commercials, they something pops out from the beginning. Now you got to bring people in. But speaking of lists, though, yeah. man. Jim Jones said Pusha T doesn't deserve to be on the top 50 greatest hip hop artist list. Damn, they got beef. I don't know, but I seen a video clip first. I thought it was staged because uh, like two or three people on there were like going in. Like he, they don't think he deserves yeah. to be a, a top 50 rapper or, or hip hop artist. Yeah, man. Jim Jones, he spoke his mind. I don't listen to a lot of Pusha T music, but I know as far as wordplay, people put him up there. I know he He's a, solid, he's a solid rapper. I just the wording crazy. Maybe it wouldn't have been such a big deal if he said he's not on my top fifty. Either, yeah, you know what I mean. Even hey, Pusha T don't have to like that either. But hey, that's your prerogative. You know, it's just like if somebody don't don't like you, you don't have to. Somebody don't have to like you. It's unfortunate, especially if you're a cool person. But it's their right. They don't have to like you. You know, everybody got their list of people that they rock with. So. Yeah, but he could have worded that different. Don't deserve. Yeah. But he telling the truth, though. Even Kevin Gates said when he started telling the truth, he didn't feel <laughs> as sick as he used to be. Like, telling the truth helps, bro. The chakras, the voice chakras. Yeah, he was going in, bro. No, man. I don't be knowing sometimes, though, because he be having stories. He jumping car batteries with just energy in his hands. Yeah, like, come on, man. He got feathers now. He Now, all of a sudden, he in touch with his Indian side. Come on, man. Yeah, that was one of those awkward moments, you know, where they like, I respect you, Kevin, because you bought that life. But I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if all this is true. But he in a good place <laughs> mentally. It looked like it. My right hand is gone. Shout out to Kevin, though. I'd be feeling good if I tell the truth and just keep it real. I guess. I guess to a certain extent, yeah. maybe it does make sense. In general, though, you know what he be doing, though. He gets the crowd going, man. I'm sucking a pole. Yeah, yeah. He, he, like, he had the scene crazy when he was going in. He had he was clouded up during them times. He he talk his stuff though. <laughs> it's, it's you know, he's speaking his truth. Keep speaking your truth. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Sir Kevin Gates. So he ain't scared to say some though. So hey, whatever, mm -hmm. man. Shout out to Kevin Gates, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, for sure, for sure, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, that Cash App founder, man. Crazy event. Randomly, I think, walking in San Francisco and somebody, you know, ran up on him. I don't know. That just seemed weird. Ironic. Yeah. Why would uh someone of his caliber, like early in the morning time, yeah, San Francisco, but there's some parts in those specific areas. You're not supposed to be just lollygagging, walking around. Supposedly, it was a good neighborhood and everything. Oh, well, in that so, case. I don't, so I don't, that's what I'm saying. Just random as hell. It's convenient and yeah. random. And then yeah. the timing, I'm choosing my words carefully right now. Of course. And then the timing of it, there's now like a pay now, like a federal type of cash app yeah. through the government. So okay. I don't know, man. It's just a lot of funny stuff, dog. A lot of people in the finance, it could be crypto founders, people in that realm. Unfortunately, they're not here anymore. That's all I'm saying. It's definitely fishy. Something going on with this, you know, those people. But RIP to them regardless of the situation. But damn, that is uh, hella interesting. Fishy, I will update. I'll get some more info. We'll put together a combo about that. Man. You know what else is fishy or could be fishy? New AI voice generated technology. Think about how dangerous that could be. You could have somebody you hate, somebody of a big caliber, admitting to something or, or saying something criminal. It could get really evil. It could get wicked. I don't know what's going on. The bio systems, the computer bio systems have stepped up, man. This whole AI thing is crazy. Even Eminem voice, someone, a fan or someone made a song and the label had to take it down. So now the labels are probably going to put in stipulations. Like, I don't care if it's not a real song, but if you use Eminem's voice, the publishing companies can go after you and you got to delete that video or song off yeah. YouTube. So. But real dangerous, though, because people can finesse a couple people and be like, I got this message from this high power person. That's what I'm saying. You could be using it. Oh, yeah. yeah it don't necessarily have to be wicked, but it could be a lot of finessing. Yep. I'm getting endorsed by whoever, whoever, you know. Yep. So now nah, this. Yeah. Uh, at first, I I welcomed it. I was like, yo, AI sounds cool. <laughs> it's Boosa Bad. Boosa Bad. <laughs> we were the first ones that did AI. We did it the bootleg. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Hey, we started everything, man. We like the soldiers. We before soldiers. We, we at the same time. We started everything. You was the first internet. Yeah, man. Before it was like at a time when it was Shonda Park. You was the first internet. I wish I was the Bitcoin guy buying at $12 per Bitcoin in like 2010. Why I didn't stumble upon that? I lived on the internet, but I Yo, never knew we about were Bitcoin. Some, we were losers. I, I think I would have spun it though, to be honest. But maybe not because if we would have known what we know, we'd known to hold out. You get what I mean? I didn't start getting to a level of better financial thinking until maybe a year or two ago. So from like 2010 to like 2020, I probably would have bought in, bought out. Bought in at the wrong time, tried to hold. Doing the, all the wrong moves. But it, it could have worked. I think I think that might have happened to me too, getting hasty and, and then think about how scarce money was at, at the time. People yeah. scarce people do stupid because they think about the short game instead of the long game. And I'm talking about myself too. Like I ain't you know what I mean? We were dumb. We didn't have no financial literacy back then. We were stupid broke. I sold all my public stocks, man. Like I had like 4,000 in stocks. Every month, I'll take 100. I wouldn't focus working-wise, so I'll take 100 here, 100 here, and all of a sudden- To help, just to help, help get through, yeah. Yeah, so I knew I probably would have blew, blew that uh, Bitcoin bag, but I'm going to find the next, oh, we'll find the next Bitcoin. I'm trying to keep it where you want to go. Oh, no, that, that was after. Let's go to Vegas. <laughs> Let's go to California. Oh, Let's go to everywhere. Do you oh, want to ski with me? I wish I did that. Oh, why, are you in, why are you in Aspen? Why are I you wish. in the Poconos with skis on? I why? wish I enjoyed my life like that during those times. Hey, I money. go front. If it was going to be the same result, I kind of wish I just enjoyed my life more full too. I mean, I did, but I mean even more full. You get what mm -hmm. I mean? Oh, yeah. If everything would have still just landed me right here, why not? <laughs> why not go? <laughs> now, we, we had some moments, though. Got a little couple bags, legit bags, and did some yeah. touring. Went out the state, went out to uh, Florida, outside of Florida. So, now nah, it worked out, man. Yeah. But 
Mm. We did do a couple things. You know what I mean? But, yo, you checking out that new Lotto radio show podcast. Uh, everybody got a podcast. Yo, I didn't check it out, <laughs> but she, she interviewed, shout out to her, though. She interviewed Chloe Bailey. That's big. That's pretty big. No, that's that's her. Her. I feel bad for them, you know. They're a couple years younger than us, but they generation different with that internet. Internet was around, but it was still early when we were little. So people were still like, no, like socially doing. You know what I mean? It was different. Yeah. But they say that they they feel when the comments say they look old, they start feeling old. They looking at insecure. Like I feel bad for them. Basically, I'm not talking trash. I feel bad for them. Yeah, that's nah. what I'm talking about. I'm like, damn, they they young. Like they between like twenty five and thirty. That's that's still young. You know, right. And probably closer to the twenty five. Yeah, the mid, the mid. But the point is, you still good, man. Like people just be. I get it though. Like time creeps up, but like until you hit like forty or something, then I yeah, you get up there. But yeah. until then, be responsible. But enjoy it. You still good, mm-hmm. especially if you're taking care of yourself. You taking care. Look at for real. Now you old, but. Yeah, he he about fifty, and he still look like he, he in a solid thirty. Look, younger range. Some, look some looks younger than some of these twenty eight year olds. Yeah, man. Now that's the goal, man. Try to retain your look, work out, you, eat as good yeah. as possible. So mm-hmm. that's the goal, man. But shout out to Loud on everybody, man. Keep doing your thing, man. I don't know if you saw the news though. Ugadi restaurant got shut up. Yeah, man. Restaurant in Memphis. I don't know the name of it. I probably shouldn't even say the name, so I won't. But <clears throat> got shot up in Memphis. And... Sad news, man. I don't like that, bro. I just want everybody, everybody to prosper. That's all. Yeah. That messes up business, especially just the whole Memphis scene. It's it's going up over there. So just to have that happen, messing up my business. A lot of customers ain't coming back. Let's be real about it. Oh, they no. come back I after that. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Or it's gonna be some where like it's gonna be a long time before I go back and say mm-hmm. some neighborhoods at nighttime. All right, you probably shouldn't go there, but at daytime it's decent. Get in, get out, get your food, and take it to go. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. Like it's certain places you know, but you can move like that. As far as dining there, going for a night out, nah, probably shouldn't. As soon as it get dark outside, you know what? Uh... I'll, just, I'll take this to go. Yeah. Got to be strategic, man. But hopefully he don't lose lose all his uh, customers. I have to relocate because that's an unfortunate situation. Yeah, 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 man. Appreciate y'all watching the Real Individuals podcast. RIP. Any last words for him, bro? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get outside, man. Do something. Clear your mind. Go to church if that's what you do. If you don't want to go to church, say a prayer. If you don't want to say a prayer, go for a hike, become one, go outside, whatever. Get that sun, vitamin D, the natural vitamin D. Pause. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure we include that. <laughs> no, in. but seriously, man, get outside. Get that. Body needs that, man. For real. Not even kidding. I let your boy, man. Hey, go Q, go Orange, man. Hey, sorry to you and him too, man. Seriously, that hurt my feelings. Oh, yeah, man. That, that one Both hurt. The team's lost. F A U N U M, man. But hey, we we almost did it. So shout out to y'all, man. No respect. Shout out to all the uh, all the Miami, Florida teams, everybody, man. Keep doing your thing. But until next time, peace. Peace, y'all.